Hi, Cancer. This is Ree with Ree Divine Tarot. And I'm here today, guys. I'm going to get you guys this October readings out. This is going to be for October the 1st through the 15th. These are going to be general readings, so they may or may not resonate with you. But if they do resonate, make sure you guys give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe to the channel, okay? So this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising. What energy is coming towards Cancer for the month of October? October 1st through October 15th, please. Thank you. All right, so at the bottom of the deck, Cancers, we have the King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn's energy. Um, but this also talks about being financially stable here, okay? So it looks like there's a lot of back and forth, um, a lot of hasty movement. Um, it could involve stability, okay? All right, so some of you guys could be feeling very anxious. The first card that we have here is the Nine of Swords. So the Nine of Swords talks about feelings of being anxious, possibly being kept up at night. There's a sense of worrying. Maybe you feel like you're worrying over whether or not you're going to be, like, kept inside of a box or there's some fear here i'm just sensing fear um and it could be because there is a need of clarity here with the ace of swords or the need to get some type of understanding and possibly in regards to something financial here with the ten of pentacles ten of pentacles is virgo taurus capricorn's energy ace of swords energy is libra gemini aquarius but this ten of pentacles does talks about being financially stable okay or there's something that's a long term some type of long term commitment it looks like in the recent past you may have had some type of communication possibly with a uh, um aries or this could be talks of uh, talking to someone that could possibly be older than you here um i feel as if there could possibly even be some gossiping or some spying going on here with the page of swords we also have the queen of swords energy here as well libra gemini aquarius but i do feel like there could there's a lot of communication going on here there's communication going on here there's like gathering information here but i feel like there's definitely going to be a leap of faith coming into the near future you're going to be feeling very independent here with the nine of pentacles nine of pentacles talks about doing things on your own being independent things are going well for you things are going to go well for you in the near future um and i feel like there are going to be risks that are going to be taken and i feel like it could possibly go in your favor but I feel like there is a sense of trying to close the chapter here on something that is heartbreaking or a third party situation or something that could have you could have possibly been um, feeling down or sad over. I feel like here with the world card here, there could possibly be closures. OK, so I feel like you're trying to close out something, something that you're trying to get over, possibly close the chapter on Now, your environment people around you they feel as if you're trying to balance things out possibly at work we got the three of pentacles here which talks about your work ethics it talks about building it talks about relationships at work okay and i feel like there's a balance here with the temperance card here okay your hopes and fears section we have the page of pentacles which talks about communication virgo taurus capricorn's energy and i forgot to say here as well with this temperance card some of you guys could be dealing with the Sagittarius as well um, but I feel like you're trying to communicate you're trying to manifest something here with the magician card so I feel like there's a lot of communication here I feel like there's some doors that you're trying to open and as your outcome guys we have the ten of swords now ten of swords talks about endings it also talks about betrayals as well being paired up here with the four of wands these two cards to me symbolize divorce um it also symbolizes um 
you know, possibly um, this, the Four of Wands talks about family as well. So maybe there's family that's getting cut out. Um, but I feel like there's some type of ending here. Clarify the Ten of Swords and the Four of Wands, please. Ten of Swords and the Four of Wands. All right, we have the Strength card. All right, so some of you guys could be dealing with the Leo, but I feel as if you're going to have the courage to cut some something or someone out. Someone is going to get cut out here. What if I the Page of Swords? Why is the Page of Swords here? All right, we got the Six of Pentacles. Someone's giving information, or you're desiring someone to give someone you you you're looking for somebody to give you some information what I'm sensing I'm definitely sensing fear there's fear about something that something that will bring you stability so I feel like you're going to overcome that fear whatever fear it is I feel like you're going to overcome it let's take a look at love if y'all hear some singing that's my daughter Okay, so let's pull a few cards here in regards to love. What message do you have for cancer in regards to love, please? This is for cancer, sun, moon, and rising. What messages do you have for cancer in love? gonna shuffle one more time then we're gonna get to it don't forget to like comment share and subscribe all right so at the bottom of the deck guys we have reconciliation at the bottom of the deck we have reconciliation so someone from your past is returning to your life so maybe someone from the past is going to resurface we're going into Venus retrograde, and Venus retrograde does a lot of times bring back exes. All right, so it looks like right now you are focused on your finances and career. Um, you possibly have been using the law of attraction. You are trying to attract a career or or your finances. Okay, the two cards that we have here is calling in your soulmate and finances and career. So maybe you're trying to balance your love life with your career life okay so very soon i feel like things are going to be something is going to transpire very soon um but the situation is calling for you to have some trust to trust you something is, is involving you to trust and um go ahead and make the decision trust yourself to make a very clear decision i feel like there's a leap of faith that you that you could possibly be thinking on um there's a leap that you want to take. I feel like you need to trust yourself and trust your intuition and take the leap. Just go ahead and do it. All right. So I feel like there's a heart to heart conversation that you want to have with someone possibly about forgiving forgiveness or there's a lesson learned here. But I feel like some of you guys are wanting to work on your work on your partnership. Um, and maybe some of you guys are wanting to come spiritually connected and have a more spiritual connection here. We have religious factors here would give your relationship a chance. However, the external to you, um, I feel like they are feeling possibly like there is a separation between you two. Maybe there is distance. And this could be from someone from your past. Because we have past life relationships. I feel like they could be feeling as if you aren't making a effort to reach out or you aren't putting as much effort in as you would normally do all right so i feel like they feel like you're putting yourself first um i feel like they could just feel like you are more focused on yourself okay because you have love yourself first here so i feel as if you're focused on what you're focused on that there's something financial um, I definitely do see a lot of finances and career and, you know, thoughts of money on your mind here. But I feel like external to you, they could be feeling like you are putting yourself first. 
um, and you you possibly aren't making as much as an effort as you possibly did previously or how what they expect for you to do okay all right cancer that is going to be your message for october the 1st to the 15th i want to thank you guys so much for tuning in with me um i'll have you guys readings out for the second half of october really soon okay all right guys thank you ciao for now